course, I come from a, a working class uh, family. I say middle middle class. Growing up in the private schools, uh, was raised in the church, and I, I went down this other path to where alcohol led to marijuana, marijuana led to cocaine, cocaine led to pills. But it didn't really hit home till he was 18, and the first time that he went to prison, and it hit me that oh my goodness, this is this is really serious. This thing, once you did. And it wants to take the person that you wanted to become and it will strip you of that. But I didn't know how to change. I remember whenever my brother died, I said, oh, I'm never gonna do dope again. And then I find myself at the dope man's house and I find myself sitting in the car crying. Not, not wanting to use didn't want to use, but I did not know how to quit. And I remember just breathing and just like relieved, just so relieved that like there was people like me, a whole building full of them. <laughs> that community, you don't have connection. And so it was that connection and developing that community within the Isaiah House, um, I guess you should say family. I've lost my license, I've lost my hands, I've lost my weight, I've lost the color in my face, I've lost, you know, uh, my, my dog, like everything. I lost my girl, I lost clothes, I lost relationships, I lost jobs. The thing is, like, I really never lost it. Mm -mm. But what I really lost was my way, what I really lost was my connection with Christ. Like all that other stuff I've learned today is just material things. And it's been restored. Coming to Louisville and being an executive director, I can't believe I get paid to do this. Talk about recovery and love guys and, and tell them that it's gonna be okay, tell them about the Bible. I'm determined today to use my voice and to shout on the top of the mountains and the top of the roofs that there's hope, there is recovery. Jake is an incredible miracle. He is nothing short of a miracle. There are little miracles that surround us every day. There are miracles here at Isaiah's house that happen every single day. You just have to look for them.